I'm about to embark on a cooking experiment using an ingredient I've never used before, which is these Happenice peppers. Specifically. Um, <laughs> when I got them, I thought, oh, maybe they will be medium, but I'm realizing they're actually going to be pretty hot. So I think I'll probably only use one or two to re at most in this dish. I'm trying to make myself more of a spice lover. I, I do like spices, I'm just trying to like up my spice tolerance is what I mean. This is the spice blend that I have uh, assembled that I think will be good as well as onion and possibly I might add garlic but I don't know that the garlic will work with that. And then I'm going to stir up, stir fry up some celery peppers that are regular like sweet peppers and then I'm considering adding yogurt to make it more of a sauced dish, but we'll see how it goes. I have finished my vegetable preparation, chopping up them. That is a whole green pepper, a whole yellow pepper, and about a little bit over half a package of celery chopped up. And now I'm going to prepare my spice blend in a little bowl so I can pour it in all at once. Okay, so I have finished chopping up my onion. It was a large onion as you may have seen, so it didn't all fit in my container, but I'll just scrape it off there. Do not judge my chopping skills. I put in uh, <laughs> not a super measured amount. I used two of the dried peppers that I took the seeds out of. I put in almost a tablespoon of curry powder about a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of turmeric and like a half teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of paprika it those are the like size layers and now i'm going to take my olive oil and add it to this pan to start heating up all right i've got that oil on medium heat and now i'm going to pour in my spices i forgot to mention that i did also add quite a bit of salt and I'm just gonna dump that in there to start sizzling. I added in the full chopped onion now and I'm gonna be stirring that up until I feel like the onion is most of the way cooked and then I'll pour in my shrimp. I added the shrimp and it was still kind of frozen so what I did was put a lid on it and turn the heat down to low so that hopefully the shrimp will unfreeze pretty fast. This is where, this is where we're at with the uh, shrimp. It's all unfrozen, definitely, and it's starting to look cooked, some of it. Not all of it is looking cooked yet. Um, I took out one of the peppers because it was getting burned a little bit, uh, and this one is too, but um, I'm hoping to just get a little bit of pepper flavor in there and not too much because I had a tiny bite of one in its dried form, like a really tiny bite, just got it on the tip of my tongue and I was like, that is an intense flavor. Probably want that in a more not intense manner. And the amount of oil I put in plus all of the water has created this nice little sauce. So I'm trying to decide in my head whether I want to add maybe some yogurt to it or some uh, flour of some kind to thicken it up into more of like a roux type of sauce or if I'm going to be happy with it just being kind of a liquid sauce that will um, continue to soak into the food once it's been put away and also to uh, soak into the rice or pasta or whatever we decide to put under it. I'm thinking rice. And once I feel like these are sufficiently cooked, then I will add in my vegetables. But because there's turmeric in here, it's giving them this yellow cast. So I'm not really sure how to tell how cooked they are. So I'm probably gonna do them a little bit more than I would otherwise. I don't mind if they're a little overcooked as long as they're not burnt. That's, I like things to be well done when I make them. Looking kind of brown, but that is to be expected when it's sort of a curry dish that we're aiming for. Yeah, I think about now is probably when I should add the vegetables, but I have to put something down so it'll be you. So this is what our final product looks like. 
I added in the vegetables and uh, let them cook for a little bit. And then when I felt like it was done, I turned the heat off, but I put the lid on just so that they could be very sure that it's all the way cooked through. Uh, I think it tastes really good. I ended up adding a little more paprika and a little more cumin to it because I thought it was pretty salt forward. The spice does come through at the end, but it's like a very reasonable amount of spice. And um, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Uh, I do not have any real measurements for you as far as, um, as far as if you were to recreate it, but just as a chronicle of my own experiments, it was a good time and now the kitchen ought to get cleaned. <laughs>